Hey everyone, this is Nick from PrimeLibs.com. Today I want to show you how to create a really cool vocal effect. It's great to use as a lead-in to the beginning of a track or even during the breakdown of a track. Instead of trying to describe it to you, I'll just play it back. You'll instantly recognize it. So the part we're going to focus on creating is that ambient lead-in sound where it sounds like a reversed vocal effect going through a reverb. So the concept here is actually pretty straightforward once you hear it described. What you do is you start out with your vocal. You take out part of the vocal that you want to use as the effect. That little part is then copied down to another track, reversed, then you run that through a reverb, record that whole thing to another track over here, and then take that new audio clip and reverse it again and that will create that ghostly lead-in reverb effect that you just heard. So now I'd like to take you through and show you how to create that step by step. Now the first thing you're going to want to do before anything is to make a copy of this clip. Next you want to double click on your new copy and select only the part of the vocal that you want to use in the effect. For me it's just going to be this first word part right here. What you want to do is right click and go to Crop Sample. So now all you have is the little audio snippet that you want to use as the effect. The next thing to do is to reverse that. Now go ahead and turn off looping and then audition it just to make sure it sounds right. And there you go. You have a reversed one word snippet. The next step is to drag a long decayed reverb onto the track. I'll drag a reverb on. I'll set the dry wet to about 40 percent. I'll set the decay time up to about seven or eight seconds. So you get a long reverb tail. That's going to be important and I'll show you why. Next you're going to want to send the audio from your original track here over to the processed audio track. Now come over and record arm your processed track set it to record, audio, and now trigger your clip. Hit stop and go back and check out your audio clip. If you want to zoom in on the whole clip just drag your mouse over where it creates a magnifying glass, hold your left mouse button down and drag up. And as you can see the audio occurred right here around bar 3. Now you're going to want to crop this sample in a similar way to how you crop the original vocal snippet. You simply surround the audio clip with the loop braces and then crop sample. I'll play it back for you. Perfect. Now I'm going to reverse this audio sample like I said before. Now I'll play back the result and you can hear what we have so far. So as you can see that little word was left in there because it was part of the original clip. So now all you have to do to cut this out is bring your right side loop brace over and cut out this part of the vocal. I'll go ahead and crop sample again. And now all we have is that ghostly lead-in effect. From here it's just a matter of dragging these clips into the arrange view so that you can create the desired effect. The best way to do that from here is just to drag your clip over here to this upper right corner onto these horizontal bars and then when the view changes to arrange you drag each of these audio clips onto their respective tracks in the arrange view. So now I have this processed lead-in part. I'll go back to the session view and then drag in my original vocal part and put that on its own track. Now to get these perfectly lined up with one another it's as simple as zooming in the view here using that magnifying glass tool up here and just slotting these right next to one another. Now I'll set the playback position right here. Be sure to go back and disable your original reverb effect because you won't need that anymore and also set your audio to master on this original track again. Now you can come back and listen to the effect. However, make sure that this red button isn't highlighted up here 
because that will affect the way these clips play back in the arrangement view. So I'll just click on it once, deactivate it, and then play it back. I sound boy killer, I go murder you. And there you go, you have your vocal reverse effect. So let's now recap what we just did. You have your original vocal hook here. You cut out the word that you want to use as part of the effect over here. You reverse that word simply by hitting the reverse button in the clip view right here. Drag a long decayed reverb onto the track. Make sure it's activated. Set your decay time up around anywhere from 7 to 10 seconds and your dry wet to taste. I like to set mine to 40 percent when I'm doing this effect. Then simply send your audio to another audio track, record enable it here, trigger the little vocal snippet through the reverb while you're recording the result over here. Once you have that, you simply hit the reverse button again on your resulting clip and that will create your reverse vocal lead-in effect. I'll see you next time for more audio production tips and tricks. Stay creative.